ギリギリのスピードで世界は変わってくんだ今僕だけにできることを探しに行こう雨上がりのバス停I can definitely assure you that's probably one of the things I'm going to add to my list of things I probably shouldn't enjoy, but I actually do. Hello everyone, it is me, Jerry Gaming here, and welcome to some more Mega Dimension Neptunia VIIR. And um, one thing that I thought was really interesting is that, you know those, those shop people, you know, the shop people, you know, you have all those weird people that like showed up out of nowhere and they like destroyed the goddesses in their HDD forms? Well, I actually realized those are the same people that appeared in part four and they were I'm pretty sure they were innocent and What I noticed is that in the fourth part you guys are gonna have to go back and see this But there was this one part. I think I might have skipped it over a little bit But there was this the little girl with the white uh, little coat I don't know what she was wearing, but she found a book. Where should we go? I'd like to go somewhere. I've never been before Okay, well apparently she talks even on that screen but she picks up the book and she reads something about the whole like gold thirds thing and the, or the gold summit thing That's why I thought the gold Summit was familiar because we actually did see that in the fourth part at least or maybe the fifth part too I can't remember but I think it was just only the fourth part, but um, The little girl reads about that and something must have happened to them and that's why they got some massive buff to apparently challenge even the goddesses so I feel like that is literally why you know that happened so, I honestly thought that was really interesting because apparently what she was reading actually was foreshadowing and I honestly think that's really cool because it wasn't foreshadowing that into the next five minutes, it was foreshadowing into the next few hours of playing this game. So I thought that was really interesting. Anyways, last time, uh, yeah, Uni saved Noir. Um. I think that might actually be where we left off last time. They just actually saved Noir. She just actually saved Noir. And then uh, these soldier dudes were literally about to say the name of whoever is ruling over last station, but they got knocked out because Uni was all like, "Yo, I got you, fam." Oh, they're gonna go from the p they're gonna go to the Basilicon, but they're not gonna approach at the front. They're gonna approach at the back. It seems like, and Uni actually never knew about this until now. Good job of keeping secrets, Noir. He really got inside. Maybe oh. I'll use this again next time. It's only a matter of time until we're found, so gather as much intel as possible. Documents or anything you can get your hands on. I don't know who you are, but this area is restricted. Uh oh. Shoot, they found us! So it's you. She didn't finish you off. How unlike her. How unlike her? Like. Who are you? Well, then again, we don't know the origins of Keisha. I'm just a Basilicom staff member. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing more, nothing less, my- Suck. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. This was originally Gonna have to censor my that. Basilicom. That's right. It was, wasn't it? Oh, so she knows about this? you actually remember me? Why, yes, I do. Last Station's CPU Blackheart and her younger sister. So what's the I never expected on? to meet someone who'd remember us here. 
I'll get to the point. Is it true you're going to invade other nations? Your role as CPU of Last Station is in the past. I have no obligation to disclose information regarding official national affairs. With an answer like that, it must be true. I don't know what your objective is, but stop this ridiculousness right now! If the war breaks out, all the citizens will be in grave danger. Imagine the number of casualties. Doesn't this concern you? These are probably, like, secretly people that just want this to happen. They're just like, alright, we're gonna get rid of everyone by doing this and that. No, not in the slightest. This is a See? war we have heavily desired. Could this person be... Do you know something about her? Yeah! It's only a possibility, but she might be part of a mercenary group that disbanded quite a while ago. The Order has Keisha settling a... Group? I don't... They were warmongers that fueled fighting by selling weapons in themselves. That's and right. themselves. Now I remember. But that group should have broken up a long time ago. That's what Keisha it's said. It's true that the Order was destroyed. Oh, but those who remained order. gathered together and created an entirely new Order. That sounds exactly like Hydra in the Marvel Universe. We've been in hiding under the surface, waiting for a chance to create a war whenever it was needed. Hiding under the surface? I'm pretty sure you can literally be normal human beings and then just no one will know about it. Don't even mention your past. Don't even mention anything. It's just be like, That's why you took over the well, Basilicon. too bad. You didn't know. Correct. It's much faster to start a war by hijacking a nation's center. We were fortunate that this nation's gold third was indifferent to national affairs and left it up to the Basilicon. It created an opening for us. I can't believe guys like these would take advantage of me. The station isn't a tool for you to wage wars! Your words are pointless. We'll use whatever we can to make things happen. Dang. Looks like you have no intention of stopping. I'll just have to stop you by force! <laughs> what idiots! Don't you know you're completely surrounded? Guards! Guards! We have intruders! Capture them immediately! Now what will you do? Will you defeat me by hurting those you wish to protect? Damn it! We're retreating, Uni! Is that okay, Noir? It can't be helped! If we fight here, we'll risk damaging the Basilicom too much! Okay, I understand. A wise decision. Don't you forget this! We're gonna destroy your plans! I look forward to it. Phew. We shook off the guards. It's no surprise, really. We just know our way around our city. What are we gonna do now, Noir? How are we going to stop her? It'll be difficult to take La Station back from her immediately. All we can do right now is defeat those new monsters so they won't be used as weapons. Can't we march in and beat them up? Mm, security will likely be tighter thanks to our little incident. I think direct confrontation will be nearly impossible. I figured. Defeating monsters, huh? Sounds like a pain, but we have to try. Right. Let's go check requests at the guild. Alright. Um, that was interesting. Um, oh. This one's an urgent quest, okay. Oh, actually, while we're in this quiet moment, there was actually something that I thought was really interesting that I thought was kind of cool, even though I'm pretty sure the ideal reference to it is nowhere even, is nowhere even close to, you know, they just thought of it like that. So I was thinking when they said capture monsters and use them for war, that immediately made me thought, wow, Cabin in the Woods, except for war. Because in a Cabin in the Woods, I think is a, if that's what it's called, it's a horror movie about how horror movies are made in real life. And it's like uh, this facility underground, you know? They have captured thousands and thousands of monsters in these boxes. And these monsters represents, or represent certain uh, monsters that you see in horror movies, for example. Um, like Pinhead and um, zombies and all that types of stuff, you know. Um, and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I was thinking, wow, so they're basically trying to capture these monsters and, you know, kind of pull off a cabin in the woods, except this time use it for war. Which is cool-ish, 
but it's not Cabin in the Woods. They're not going to unleash monsters just to, you know, have them all battle in a free-for-all and be like, alright, who's the best monster? Because if you guys actually watch the Cabin in the Woods, uh, actually everyone dies. And I'm not exaggerating that. Everyone dies. Even us. The entire Earth, in fact. It dies. Okay. She can't fight, but she can help. That immediately notifies me, yeah, everything that happened in part four and what I theorize is actually true. So, she is a bystander. She is named Keisha. And the little girl that found the book that apparently revealed like, the whole Golden Thirds or the Golden Summit, something happened and then they became super duper duper strong. Like, unnorm- unnaturally strong. And it also, it made me realize too, the robot that was also in the, um, what is it, the comic shop, um, is he also part of this? I mean, here's why, because all these characters, they were just showing up out of nowhere, like her, she's a bystander, well, if she's a bystander, then why was she, you know, a drawn avatar like this, and she was put into the, in front of the game, and why was all those individual other people, like, uh, Sisha, oh, especially her, hoo, hoo, hoo. why was she also, you know, in the game as well? So, I feel like they have to mean something. If they were to have been revealed right in front of us for literally no context. Even the lady that was in the comic shop who was ordering comic books, I think, she was also the same lady that definitely looked the strongest of those gold thirds groups that beat up the HDD forms. So... It's great to realize you're learning things, you know? Okay, so, um, this means I have two quests, uh, here, and, uh, yeah, Exhausted Jelly. I think I know we can get that, I believe. One thing that is gonna bother me a lot is that this definitely does mean that we have a lot to do. Oh, yeah, see, is that, uh, is that the robot from earlier? Not from earlier, but from part four. Nep Titter? Tidar? Who was claiming to be from another dimension told me about it. Nep Tidar? What? Robbery at the Basilicon, huh? Jeez, they could at least pretend they care about it enough and hire some real security. Is that the same robot from part four? I want to say yes, because the way he kind of looks... Looks... Similar. I want to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I think that is. Just the way he looks. Gentleman thief named Juro. Juro. Well, it's better than some other weird names. Juro. I mean, I can get used to that, right? Juro. That's kind of a cool name for a robot. I mean, yeah, it's a weird name, but it's a name, right? It's a... It's at least a name. When you're named... Nepgear. I mean, I love Nepgear, but admittedly, the name is kind of just thrown into the book, right? Self-proclaimed gentleman thief, Juro. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's definitely him from the fourth part. Yeah, because now that he's in the middle, I can actually see a little bit more of him. And yeah, this is also kind of the same little background they use for that comic shop, I think. Yeah, this is definitely him. It'd be weirder not to notice you. Why does this man stutter a lot? You're a freaking robot. Look how cool he looks, actually. Look at this man. Why are you stuttering so much, dude? You need to chill, pal? Like, I wonder if he's also small, too. Because there's, because I kind of did a little bit of researching, and pretty much a lot of these characters are small. Also, and I refuse to believe. I absolutely refuse to believe this. But supposedly, adult Neptune is four foot 9.5 inches <laughs> like the way she looks right you expect her to be like i don't know maybe my height or taller maybe i honestly expect her to be like taller than me like you know just the way she looks you're telling me she's not even my little brother's size he's like five foot exactly five foot i think so it's like hello if she knew I was looking at such solstice material, if I read that right, she'll find me most... competitive? Nope! So is this guy, like, not able to deal with women or something? Or, like, yep, he's uh, some dude that, uh, can't, uh... 
can't, uh, what was I gonna say? Can't deal with women. Wait. What was he get- Wait, what was the comic book he was getting in that fourth part? Something about- He had to get something for the general, but it had to do something with women in the front of the comic book? And the fact that he also couldn't go to the front checker thing because there were women there? So is this man, like, not comfortable with women or girls in general? <laughs> oh, shoot. What a terrible book to replace it with. Now uni will most certainly... I didn't read that. Wow. Imagine a woman having common sense. Not not just a woman, a little girl having literal common sense and saying, you know what? Even though you support this or that, you live your life the way you live your life. I won't be the one to judge. Imagine a little girl saying that at this time of age. Imagine. She literally would have had to come from heaven just for that one comment. Because I can assure you, I will grab 99 different people and tell them something that they do not support and they will probably say one thing and one thing only. F you. What? <laughs> um... Hello? Okay, so... Oh wait, wait, wait. Actually, now that I think about it. Um, scouts. Scouts have returned. There's a report. I couldn't find anything. Sorry. Oh yeah, there's also... We got an exclamation mark in the playroom as well, so... I'll probably check that out maybe by the end of this episode. So... Are we just... Are we doing this now? Because, I mean, by the way, I mean, you know, it says urgent, so I'm assuming that this is our next objective right now. We're just going to do this. So what is it, like six of those jelly icons? So I think okay. we're just going to go here. And, uh, exhausted jello, heal doggo. Let's do our best. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. How about these guys over there? Okay, stop chasing me, crab. Like, these guys right here. Maybe that counts, right? Yes, surprise attack. yes it does. Okay. You're wide open. Weak. How'd I do? Pretty good, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, also, just a curiosity, real fast. Is there any equipment I can get? Rifle? She's got a gun? Hold up, let me see this real fast. Oh my gosh, my lady got a gun? Well, I can assure you this ain't no little girl anymore. She got a gun. She's also got jiggle physics apparently, which is probably unneeded. What is that, her phone? On the side of her? Okay, girl, okay, rocking the style. Okay, got a ra I mean, literally got a freaking rifle and everything. Like, hold up, ma'am. Take a chill pill. I love how there's also like moves I'm supposed to learn when I level up constantly, but she's already like leveled up enough to where we don't even. You should let your you know. guard down. Okay, so she's got a rifle. Can we all pay well, attention to the? <laughs> she's got a rifle. Don't worry, I'll snipe him. Oh yeah, this is a definite rifle. It's a uh, ooh. Now look at this. Look at this range. I'm all the way over here, buddy. So cool. Did you see my awesomeness? Yeah, I totally did just now. You know, I'm starting to now realize how like unnecessary some of the jiggle physics are. Like some of them are small, but the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she just shoots my man's. <laughs> Actually, my woman's. The lady over here just be shooting, firing, just. <laughs> Going at it. Literally. Snipe him in the face. Look at that. Just boom, 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 boom. She is a really cool character. She can just snip them down. Snip them down, boys. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Ooh, can I? Yes, let's go. Let's hit all of them. Let's go. Let's snipe them all down. Jeez. How was that? That's my real skill. I don't know what I don't know what kind of level of animation that is, but sure thing, girl. Sure thing, girl. One point. 
doomed from the start. <laughs> well, that should do it. Oh my! <laughs> we should probably do that next time. Target neutralized. Oh, we got all of them. Let's go. Okay. Did you see my awesomeness? Yeah, you pointed a gun at them. You went boom, boom, boom. Like every like. I mean, Noor did mention about her playing a lot of, uh, you know, first-person shooters, so why am I surprised? You know what I just realized, actually? I think we had a dungeon escape button, and I didn't even use that. Going here? <laughs> Funny. Oh, wow, they're already on the loose? Inside a subway station? Whew, that's not good. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a wife seeing her husband off to a war. You don't seem to put it off by the comment. Alright, Uni's cute. Uni's great. Uni is hilarious. Congratulations, Uni. I like you a lot, because you are hilarious. And you have... A rifle! Can we, like, please mention that? She has a rifle? Like, hello? Actually? We have some currency, so just a curiosity, I want to actually see what happens if I boost some of the stuff up. It's level 2 now. Who would forget their own CPU? Whoa. Good thing there are still people that remember you. You know, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if these random names, they literally just picked them out from one of the developers that made this game, that made this game. So, I'm just curious. Ooh. Okay. So, at least we have some citizens that are, you know actual uh, logical thinkers okay let's go here um so we're just gonna go here let's I guess right uh oh there are still people in there that haven't escaped apparently they can't contact the soldiers who went inside to save them either oof that's not good all right so I guess we're going in Wow, this looks like the one area from, uh, you know, in the Zero Dimension just recolored differently. Ha ha ha. I'm on to you, people. I mean, then again, it is anime. And it is an RPG game, so they're gonna use a few elements here and there. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna pull off one of those things where they're gonna use enemies. They're gonna just call them different enemies. It's gonna have the same different stats, but they're gonna be recolored, but they're literally the same thing. Just color differently. Like there's the or like you can find an orange tiger. Oh, now there's a blue one. It's stronger. That's the difference. And it has a different name. It's not tiger. It's snow tiger. I mean, then again, I think all RPGs kind of do that kind of thing, right? If I if I'm right, like I feel like that's the case. I mean, my favorite RPG that I played, Dragon Ball Attack of the Saiyans. They definitely did something like that. A lot of recoloring enemies. A lot. But at least, most of the boss battles were different. When I say most, I mean like all of them, but I think like one or two. <laughs> Save the citizens and my fellow soldiers lady CPU. Oh my gosh, it's literally, it even has the same theme. Okay, buddy. Well, first let's put her as leader. Just see. Uh, wow, she is actually not that much smaller. She got crossed arms. She actually looking kind of cute. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Alright, uh, do you have a comment to say? Before we head off into the same area, just recolor differently. Instead. Done. I'd like to switch my scope with a new one too. Oh, but maybe a laser sight is enough. Wait, what? <laughs> Something about rescoping your gun? Her hair though. She's really pretty, actually. Not gonna lie. Okay, anyways. Uh, wow, those enemies were just having some uh, Kaladin time together. She kicks them, too. Wow, that's great. Alright, her running animation's actually a little bit different. She kind of has a little bit of a uh, ease-in, ease-out looking effect. Or, there is no ease-out effect on it. There's a little bit of an ease-in. All the others, like Noir, don't really have either of them, I think. Should we fight enemies, or should we just... Oh my gosh, look, even a recolored little bug enemy right here. Uni is so cool, actually. Did you see my awesomeness? Oh my gosh, I did not. S okay, fine. I 
Yes, I saw the booty. Yes, I saw it. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I see two different entryway points over here. There's one over here. There's one over there. But this is the direction, but I'm kind of curious what's down here. I mean, for all we know, it could be a thing where we have to go this direction one way or the other. Possibly? My cousin Sammy says waifus can't be cool or can't whatever. I don't know. Has something against waifus for some reason. Well, we should talk about Union right here, uh, cousin Sammy, because uh, she got a gun. Yeah, see? She'll snipe him. Take him down. Almost took him down. I wonder if there's a way they could just raise their defense. I'll end this gracefully. Bye. Oh yeah, let's do it right now. Or uh. Drop down. There. Target neutralized. <gasps> How was that? That's my real skill. This is amazing. I feel so powerful. She leveled up, and she had more jizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Was I really about to say jizzle physics? <laughs> she has more jizzle physics. Her HP went up by 69 points. This game is going to be the end of me. Oh, wait, there are two other entry points hold up two more i don't know where to go at this point i don't know if i'm doing the right thing or if i'm just creating a maze no this is the same area wow so this is actually a maze and uh not uh just a way to go through that's interesting low key though you gotta admit it's kind of a bit scary how much jiggle physics they got because like sometimes i don't think they even need any jiggle physics i mean they're actually now, small, and when I say small, I mean like height-wise and body-wise. They are actually small, the like target. no joke. Which I don't know why. I feel like they shouldn't be, but they are. We were doomed from the start. Oh my gosh! I just realized it's a bird. It's those birds that literally screwed me up last time. So you know what? We're gonna give them the hard slick. The this is mm. the power of a CPU, you know. Oh, and they got a little... I don't understand what that is, though. What is that? Yeah, we weren't... Oh! Oh! Mm, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. It's definitely a maze. So all the points... So whatever that point we went to earlier wasn't in the right direction, which was, you know, the corner over there. So we're gonna make a breakthrough over here. Really fast. I run as fast as you can, Uni. You're small, so that means you're really fast, right? Hypothetically. Okay. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe she doesn't need a hat anymore because I can't even flipping see her face. Yeah, that, that's fine. Can I at least see her face? Like, oh my gosh, she's just covered. Question mark, person said dot, dot, dot. Okay, so Noir definitely just confirmed to us right there that she has the same ability that uh, Goku and the others have, where they can sense later. other people's presence. So that's cool. Good to know that. She is definitely this. super special. Shoot them both down for now. That is so cool when she does that, I'm not gonna lie. That? my real skill all right level up and she gets to look off to the side actually instead of looking right directly in front of us with some more jiggle physics i'm literally gonna poke at this game every single time i'm gonna like call out their jiggle physics like i'm sorry guys even though you don't want to know it or you don't want to hear it when there's so much of it yeah. how can you not just call them out for that yeah. like oh my I'll god jill visit here and, and there turn. like my dude, like, it's everywhere. How could you not? In fact, I might as well everyone have it. Even the ones without that big of a chest. Like, I know the wow. Alright. 
Shoot him down, lady. You were doomed from the start. Did you Let's see my go. awesomeness? Yeah. Wait, I just realized. What is her That's jump? What is this? What's this? Can we just look at this jump real fast? Like, jump. what? Bounce. What kind of jump is that? Jump. Bounce. Oh my gosh! Like, okay. Wow, what a confession. All right, if you won't believe this, then fine. After we defeat this monster, then, uh, you know, we'll come clean. Well, you, you can arrest me if you want. Because, you know, um... Wait, that wasn't me. Someone else took that shot. Wait, could it be the person who saved me in the forest? Well, then who is that? Keisha? Even when they call her a criminal, she has the strength to continue saving them. No, you really are the wonderful. You are the wonderful. Of, you really are the wonderful a person I thought you were. Okay, well, whoever it is, it better be some good guy. All right, but that's interesting though. Man, oh, see, look at that. It's kind of the same enemy as it was in the first game. Just you know, he looks different because he's recolored. Okay, why does he have so? Oh wait, I saw he had an armor point. How strong it that one's the next Okay, I think target. we're fine. That may not be as strong as I thought. There. Point broke. Alright, we broke a point. My turn. So does this mean we do more damage now? Too low. Not really. Don't worry. I'll snipe him. Yeah, snipe him down, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, so are we meant to do not even that much damage, or can we like actually get some of that? All right. Oh my god, bruh! Here. See that damage? Oh, like okay, buddy. This bullet special. Wow, that special was literally just her shooting a gun. Okay, that might be a little bit lame. Nonetheless, it's kind of cool that she gets to do really cool special Strike or really first, cool ask attack. questions later. Yes. You need back me up. Leave it to me, Noir. Good nice. Answer, okay. Ooh. Okay. This is kind of cool. Take the final hit. I'll Points break. Oh, parts broke. What? So he still has more parts on him. Okay, that's cool. All right, let me heal Uni up just to see if I can bring his aggression level towards someone else. Such a pain. Or so I can get... Okay, that didn't work apparently. All right, here we go. Going We're going to do the coronation Uni, attack again. Leave it to me, Noir. Good answer, Uni. Good answer, Uni. I'm not realizing. Is she moving as fast as a bullet during this part right here? Final hit. I'll meet your expectations. What? This is literally the most damage I can do to it. Other than that, it's not really that much. No. But he is poor, poor targeting Uni, and it's not funny. Uh, paralyzation. This bullet special. All right, there we go. Now it's had a that is effect. Let's also give it a venomous can. Let's give it a venomous like again bullets? because we can do it another no. one. There we go. Now, who's my opponent? <laughs> You're wide open. All right. I'll finish it this turn. Ooh, let's go. Okay. No. Still, bruh. Oh wait, now he's targeting everyone. That one's the next target. Still, bruh. Take the final hit. I'll meet your expectations. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. Let's go. Let's go. It's. Mm. Should not have taken that long. Should not have taken that long. But apparently it did, because he had a lot of defense. A lot of defense, and that was ridiculous. Maybe I'm a little closer to Noir now. Ha 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 ha, as long as you're, you know, uh, never mind, actually. I, I don't know what I was about to say right there. <laughs> but seriously, though, sister, whoa. Why does everyone have jiggle physics at this point? Like, literally, everyone. Even Union. I didn't think she had one. 
Oof. I mean, honestly, I can see why. So, it's really hard to, like, put up with other people's crap, even though they, like, refuse to believe you, or just, you know, um, what was I gonna say? Like, imagine you're a wanted criminal. How the heck are you going to ch tell show them that, yeah, I'm not a wanted criminal? The best way you could is to save them, and convincingly do it so. That's the only way. But even then, it's, um... Really hard to do that. We couldn't possibly put you in handcuffs now. Nice, let's go. You're both way stronger than you look. Nice, let's go. There's no way they could be criminals. You soldiers sh should do your jobs properly and dig deeper in your investigations. Yeah, that's right. Oh, right, understood. We'll properly confirm the information. Sounds like the internet. Wait, is Keisha trained with weapons? Cause, I mean, just, if like, oh, I was so worried I had to follow you guys. So then who's doing the bullets? It, I, it's either the mysterious woman or it's really her, Keisha. Cause I feel like it has to be her or the mysterious woman. But I feel like in some way, shape or form, I feel like it's pointing a little more towards Keisha. Just in some way, shape or form, even though she says she can't fight. And if she really could, she would have just said, oh yeah, I got a gun. Alright, well, Uni left the party, so I don't know what that means. Where is this? Oh, we got some English. Come on, don't waste time. Let's go. The next quest is going to be difficult, too. Okay, let's do our best, Noir. Hey, now, don't clink so much. I can't walk like this. Noir? Uni? Oh, that's right. I was observing Noir. Oh, Noir looks like she's having so much fun. Why am I not the one by Noir's side? Who's there? Poor Keisha. All you can do is watch. I can only watch. Observation is just an excuse. You just wanted a reason to stay close to Noir. Is it wrong of me to want to? It's a feeling similar to longing. You wish from the bottom of your soul to become something more than friends. Oh. You want to be with her, but the person smiling next to her is her own sister. You're frustrated. You're jealous. I... Uni gets to be close to her because she's her sister. And even though you're Noir's friend, you're not the one next to her. Because of that, if you can't be smiling next to her, she won't even turn her smile towards you. It's all because of that nuisance of a sister. If only Uni wasn't there, you could be the one standing there. If Uni wasn't there, I'd be next to her. You can see the little evil glance in her eyes, like you literally can see a little shadow glooming over her eyes. Imagine. She's getting manipulated. You, laughing next to her. You're so lonely, aren't you, Keisha? If only Uni didn't exist, you could be with Noir. Just the two of you. If Uni... didn't exist... Noir is so kind, and strong. She tries to protect people even at the cost of herself. She's a real hero. She should have always protected you, and helped you when you needed it. A hero only for you. Because... Uni's there. That's right. Because Uni's there, Noir won't look at you anymore. Uni. If Uni didn't exist, Noir would look at me. If you have common sense, no, she wouldn't. She look well. She look at you negatively. That's for sure. <sighs> Where am I? Are you awake, Keisha? What's going on? Wait. That's a different noir. That's a totally different noir. It just occurred to me. Is this a dream? 
Or... Is this reality, but someone is pretending to be... Is this an alternate dimension you are? Okay, admittedly, before we cut off to the, you know, non-English, I think I did hear her voice, and it sounded a little deep. Yes, you can definitely tell. It's very obvious. She kind of has a bit of a thing for Noir. It's going... To, I mean, this def this Noir is definitely at a suspicious level of not the same. So, um... This is probably not her. Or... Um... What was that all about? Okay, so, from all that... Whatever that other new R was, definitely was the fake one. But Uni was there, she's like, what? Are you sure? Like, I never saw you coming back. And it's like, what? Now you're just here? And then, uh, what else? Uh, the other, the other new R was like, oh yeah, but you know, I'm worried about you. So that's why I don't want you to come along with me. Because if you collapsed, you know, if you die or something, I'd be really sad for you. And Uni... I don't know, Uni was just kind of on the side. Keisha was definitely being pretty aggressive towards Uni. But, like, something's going on. Like, who is she that's disguising herself as Noir? Yeah, see, this is the fake one right here. But, like, what? What's going on? Ooh, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, there's already some signals. It's like, uh, this isn't the right noir, or this, at least, it shouldn't be the right noir. Uni? Yeah, Uni's smart. She's getting some signals. There's something going on. Very wrong. I mean, okay, please figure it out. You didn't see her come back, but you see her at Keisha's place. There's probably a different noir. Like, yeah. It's weird to say that, cause you don't you you don't just expect me to just have a duplicate out there who's doing the exact same thing I'm doing, just in a different place in a different time. But in this universe, where you can cross through different dimensions and have monsters that don't look like they come from the same dimension you came from, expect something at least. Especially if uh, Let's go. Noir, this you know. Noir is being so creepy, so you should probably be expecting something. Now she's encountering. Okay, so. I'll show you the power of last Ooh, we are you. encountering whatever this thing is during this time, so I think that was. Trick! Right of course, he has so much damage. Okay, no, 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 that's it, that's it. Oh, right. We need to AP. How much damage does this do? Strike first, ask okay, questions okay, later. no, that's it, that's it, that's it. This is getting irritating. Access. Uh, okay, yeah, access. More jiggle physics. Way more jiggle physics, like, bruh! Still, though, this is really cool. Oh my, wow, I'll I did you not... The power of a CPU. I did not need to see that. Wow. Okay, well, can we at least... Get way more stronger. Yeah. Okay, parts broke. We at least broke some. Oh, can I go on the sides and break something there? Maybe question mark. No. Oh no! Yes. 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 Actually, that was the answer. No. Watch and learn what refined battle tactics look like. Here. Okay, thank you. I, I, I'll do. I'll do so, ma'am. You yeah. actually too. So, is there one more part we need to break? Cause I think we got everything we need right here. Now it's He's my angry at Uni. Well, I mean, why answer. wouldn't or not Uni? Noir. But like, why wouldn't you be? She's like the only enemy here, or your only target. What's this? Let's go. Ball slash. That didn't do as much as I wanted to do, but okay. Uh, let's definitely get a healing glass. I'll end this elegantly. Who 
should I choose? Got you. Take. I feel like yeah. there's something we're missing because I feel like we should be doing way more damage. Or maybe this is normal. No. Like he just has a lot of defense apparently. Oh, oh my gosh, now we're paralyzed. Bruh. Ooh. Oh, actually, that did critical damage. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we got we did it. I would have liked to have won a little more stylishly. I mean, I think you did it. I mean, that's better than your, um, whatever the other animation is. Better hurry up, because Uni is with another Noir, and it's... Something's going on. Uni's already picking up some weird signals. Time is almost running out, and she was mumbling that, don't do that, we'd end up buying food when we're supposed to be information gathering. Can't work on an empty stomach, or something like that. E or something like that. Come on, Uni, pick up some signals already. Like, even more. That's true, but sisters don't really feed each other like this. Oh, what are you saying? This isn't normal because we're sisters. Because we're sisters. Like, come on, pick up the signals, please. Oh, <gasps> this is Snake. I'm done here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to make that reference. A painfully piercing gaze. How can you? You're imagining things. More importantly, you need. I'd like to know. Can Keisha pick up the signals too? Like, come on. Uni's literally calling out Noir for fake noir for doing some pretty strange things that sisters don't do anymore especially this time of age maybe friends they are all lovey dovey with each other but they're sisters like, come on it is perfectly normal any pair of sisters do this when they get along well okay okay how about this you know my little brother you know I, I love my little brother he's very 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 annoying it's easy to get on his bad side but I love him I don't sit on the same side as him I don't sit next to him and it like I don't do that. They don't. You're being weird, sis, and kind of creepy. Why are you clinging to me so much? Creepy? I'm creepy? I can't believe you'd say something like that to me, Uni. Um, um, I'm sorry. I may have said too much. No, Uni, you're actually on the right track. This is getting really weird. Where is the other Noir? Please come back. This is getting really weird. You don't have to cry about it. Yeah, see? Something's going on. You should probably... You made my new horror cry. <sighs> okay, yeah, she definitely was watching, but she didn't pick up the signals. Yeah, see, come on, you need to pick up the signals. This ain't new horror. <sighs> Where is new horror? This is real new horror. I'm completing your request. Yes, you have. You've been a real help. <laughs> Freaking go for Uni. Oh my gosh. Just hurry quick. This is suspicious. Hurry fast. See, she just ditched you like that, like... I don't know why, but this is really aggravating me. Because I feel like she picked up way too many signals and she didn't take action. Oh my gosh, Keisha, please, no. You better... What's going to happen next? Oh, I'm looking very forward to it, Keisha. Oh, great. Fantastic. Someone's being manipulated. <sighs> I've come to the city again for, for again no reason. Lady Uni, she's the first girl to notice me, and the only one I can speak to normally. Good, now you have a female who can actually, you know, I was certain busty blondies <laughs> were my type. Why then am I so drawn to Lady Uni, who is the complete opposite? Hmm, that's Lady Uni I can see over there. Greetings, Lady Uni. Nope. Oh. This girl is last station CPU. I almost spotted. I was almost spotted. Why is she here? There's another Uni. Uh, there's a... Whoever this question mark, question mark, question mark person is, is uh, doing whatever this is. Oh. Uh, station CP's candidate, you got that right. All right, so, um, I've been recording a little too long, but I really want to get, okay, real quick. I need to head for the restroom. Okay, quickly, we gotta get into the mitty gritty of this, because there is an imposter 
be uh, becoming, you know, the two of them. And it's getting on a very suspicious this level. This was sort of a weird day. That's my line. You were being kind of weird today, Noir. I've been my usual self. You're the one who was acting weird, Uni. Welcome home, Noir. Oh, hey. Now that we yeah, want to meet well, up. <sighs> what? for looking after things, Keisha. No, it was my pleasure. It wasn't anything I couldn't handle. So... Noir, I'm gonna go rest in my room. I'm, uh, I'm feeling really tired. Hey, are you okay? You don't have a fever, do you? Don't worry, it's just anxiety. This was a pretty tiring day. Yeah, anxiety over your sister kind of acting a little clingy to you, like, am I right? Okay, well, don't push yourself too hard next time, Muni. Especially since you probably won't tell me if you do. Jeez, don't baby me, Noir. You worry too much. Besides, you're one to talk. You probably picked up that trait from you. Oof. Hey, don't make it my fault. Oh well, take a good long rest today. Right. Good night. She always acts so recklessly. Sometimes it feels like I can't keep my eyes off of her for more than a few minutes. Is Uni that important to you? Uh-oh. Here we go. Mitty gritty. Yes, of course she is. She's my younger sister. I see. Oh, that's right. Noir, I finished making dinner, and... You see the little shadow in her eyes. Dog. She's getting I suspicious. I feel a little uneasy about Uni, so I should go check up on her. You should go ahead and rest first, Keisha. Wow, she says she oh. got dinner prepared. I made dinner because I thought it would make her happy. If that girl wasn't here, would she have eaten it? I'm sure things will get better tomorrow. I'll be able to talk a lot more with Noir. Yes. Once tomorrow comes... Oh, Noir... What can I do for you to just take a minute and look at me? Attention seeker alert, attention seeker alert, attention Keisha. seeker alert. Hey, Keisha! Jeez, how long are you planning on sleeping? Mm. Huh? This is... Alright, so is this real or is this fake room? Noir? You're finally up! You took long enough. Why are you dozing off so much, Keisha? Noir? What was I doing? We were eating and you just conked out. Come on, Keisha. You're not a kid. Get it together. Eating? That's right. Wait, where's Uni? Who? Is that one of your classmates? Hello? This has to be a dream, right? have been living together for a month already and I don't think I've ever heard you mention uni or whoever before okay either this is another fake noir or this is a dream or someone rewrote this or rewrote this just like how they did when Big Nep showed up in the previous part right you and me live together now just the two of us just me and Noir. She just accepts it like that? Oh, like, wait, I don't remember doing this for a month. Like, I only remember doing this for like a day or so, not a month. I can't tell if you're messing with me, but whatever. Come on already. Finish eating. Weren't we supposed to go shopping today? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, Noir is looking at me. Only me. Attention seeker. Or she's a yandere. Because, I mean, she kind of looked She's very mine. aggressive towards you. My noir. What a lovely world. And no interruptions, no obstacles. If I stay here, then we'll always be... <sighs> Look at her. Lost in her beautiful dream. Oh, it is a dream, right? The larger the gap between dreams and reality, the more devastating her despair will be. I've I feel like this seed. is a... Keisha. What kind of flower will it bring forth? Is this a way of spawning a greater enemy? Just from manipulation? Do you have a moment? Stop like this? Keisha, 
Yeah, sure. I see. Uh oh, she's got the little shadows in her Run. eyes. Die. Excuse me. What's wrong, Keisha? Why do you even have a gun? Because if you're still here, Noir will never look my way. What? What's all the commotion about? Noir, please, wait a moment. I'm getting rid of this obstacle right away. Obstacle? What's wrong with you? You're acting strange. You're the strange one. Being so close to your sister and not me. Seriously, what's wrong, Keisha? This isn't normal and you're being incredibly weird. Noir, move! I can't kill her with you in the way! Ah! You're right. I don't need to kill you point blank. Keisha, you... Uni, let's have a duel. Winner takes Noir. A duel? I would be fine with just killing you, but it's better to fight fair and square in front of Noir. That way, you'll be able to accept defeat and die honorably, won't you? What? The place will be... Ah, yes. Let's make it the Golden Summit. I'll be waiting on the top floor. Wait, Keisha! Don't worry, Noir. I'm always gonna wait for you. Even if I'm stuck waiting in the afterlife. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Keisha just walked into my room before suddenly attacking me. What the hell is going on with her? That was anything but normal. She is a yandere. Let's just yeah, confirm that. She's I was being a total yandere, and it was terrifying. We've heard rumors, but I didn't know it could be so bad. Yeah, even Uni knows it. But what drove her to that state? I don't know what happened. We need to go to the Golden Summit and find out for ourselves. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, bro, how much is there? I just want to be done with this, but I just want to keep going. Okay. How, how much should I be cutting out exactly? Okay, so I didn't mention this before, but I was always curious of, you know, we have tsundere's. We have two tsundere's, I think, right? So I was always wondering about a yonder, because I feel like they, in some way, shape, or form, had to just stick one into the story, just somehow. I guess it's with Keisha. Second, um, with Keisha being the... The, the kind of enemy here, um, does, what was I going to say? Does this mean that for the others, like, you know, Blonde, uh, Vert, and Neptune, stuff like that, there will be, uh, the other Shaz? Because the more I think about it, I, oh boy, this is gonna, because, I mean, we're still stuck in, uh, Noir story Finish. mode. What is that? What is that? Wait, how do we get down there? Oh, we could jump our way there. Okay. Oh, we could boost or something. What's with the yeah? <laughs> it's like the first time I ever heard her say anything so strange. Wait, is that like an Eevee? Because the way she was kind of saying, so it sounded like an Eevee. So it's like, hello, Evie? Are you in this guy? Definitely, that is definitely a weird looking Evie. The next target. So it's definitely in the game, that's for sure. That Alright. I, I was about right. to head into the event right away, but I wanted both uh, Noir and Uni to uh, level up. Because I was constantly rechecking their experience, and I just knew, oh yeah, they're definitely about to level up, so... I want to head them to a good level before, you know, we head right into this event, which I'm assuming we're going to fight <laughs> Keisha, which I definitely am going to assume she's going to be powered up in Sorry some way, shape, or form, but like, See, Noir? Why? Why? even What's though you took your on? sweet old time to get here, I waited for you, as promised, but since you were so late, and I was bored, I ended up making a lot of Noirs. Hmm. Why did you make so many? Why did you make these at all? Whoa, that's a lot of big sisters. <laughs> How do they look? Creepy. They're that so is very cute. creepy. Just like you, Noir, aren't they? 
But like, how does she do that? Cute. Keisha, who exactly are you? You're right. There shouldn't be any secrets between us. I'll tell you. She's gonna be like some secret, like I don't I know. And Keisha, last yeah. station's gold third. Wait, was she a gold third the whole time? The last station was ruled over by a gold. Was that her? Was she the one ruling the station the whole time? You're the gold third of last station? Now that I think about it, you do look similar to the girl I fought that one time. So that is her. How did you not notice? Keisha, stop being ridiculous. You don't need to duel Uni. Let's just talk this through. Sorry, can't do. This has already been decided. Decided? Just hang on! Even if you win the duel, it's not like I just magically become yours. Then what must I do to make you mine? What must you do? Okay, seriously, stop. Oh, wait. I know. Keisha, battle me. If you win, then I'm all yours. You are? What? You heard me. This is the only option right now. She's not gonna listen to anything else. But I think I can get through to her. Okay, I get it, I guess. But Noir, can you just tell me one thing? Do you like Keisha? Huh? Why the sudden question? If you really like her, then tell her. Properly. What do you mean? Just do it. But try not to say things that sound like you ripped them from a stupid harem romance novel. And hurry! Right. Noir, are you serious about your proposal? Completely. I can appreciate a challenge. I like people who are stronger than me, too. I see. Then, if that's the case, I'm gonna give it my all. Me too. Equipping complete. Yep, that is definitely her. I recognize it now. Keisha's personality's changed. This is the same feeling I had when we fought before. Like a different person. Hmm. Just wait, Keisha. I'll save you now. So is this really no matter her? Who my opponent is, I'll mow them down. But she's been possessed. I feel like that's the case. Okay. Ouch. Okay. I'm glad this isn't gonna end up like last time where she just one sh where they just one shot at all of us for whatever Destroy reason. Them all. Right? Goodbye. Okay, yeah. But she is doing a heavy Goodbye. amount of damage. Wow, that was uh almost half my health. Wow. That is uh ooh, that is not good. I did nothing. Okay, I think my uh Kept you waiting, huh? That's it. That is a lot of damage though. Hold up. We might actually need this. Just use this item. We're needing that. No question. Turso. Not bad. Ouch. I wish you luck. That's it. Kept you waiting, huh? Jeez, can we just talk about that damage though? Like, girl. Yeah. Ouch. Not bad. And she still got so much more health remaining. It's crazy. I'll complete the mission. I'll complete the mission. This is, this is definitely not. Wait, she gets extra AP? Hello? 
Now it's my turn to go. Can we just the talk about that? Lazy dance. Not yeah. bad. Oh my gosh. I'll just use this item. We're gonna be using up our items like crazy. Destroy them all. You won't escape. You foolish. You won't escape. This is what? This is Lazy Dance! Something about this just isn't right. Like, Not come bad. on. Why is she so strong? Like, hello? My my girl, like chill question mark? Kept you waiting, huh? Disappear! Destroy them all! You won't escape! That's it! No matter who my opponent is, I'll mow them down! Okay, okay, we're making some progress. I'll complete the mission. This is Keisha. I will oh, never annihilate them. Of course, them. she has to have a special move. Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. I don't know how much damage that was, but you waited, gosh. Huh? And she, get, she gets more AP. Uh. Can we talk about that? I can't even use any of my other items! Bro! Either I'm supposed to lose this or... What? Dude, we're gonna lose this! I actually can't do anything! Like, I didn't know we can run out of the amount of times we can use our, you know, items! No, we're dead. It's over. <sighs> Till we meet again. I lost. <sighs> and I wasn't even swap. What do you want me to do? She was just doing big damage the whole time. Okay, so I got some new moves. And I'm yeah. really hoping this literally. Okay, okay, okay. What if I attack it from the back? Like, I feel like I have to be attacking her at a certain point, but I don't know what that point is. Or why she does that much damage. And we can only use this like three times. So she starts at seven. There's five now. She has two now. She goes back to having seven. Like, why? Is that like when, you know, we have turns again, she just gets to go again? Like, bro. It's not fair. Like, this is aggravating. Like, I have to use this to avoid... This... I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Come on. Disappear. Oh my god. Bro! Literally. Oh my gosh. Okay, no. I'm gonna do some grinding. This is not even fair. Like, now are you telling me? That I can use items only four times, which I didn't even know that was a limit. But the fact that she does that anything. much damage? Like, can we just talk about that? 15 minutes later. Okay, so this now time I went on a heck of a grind offensive. session. I don't know if this is gonna be any different because it's. My problem isn't that. My problem is not only that she is so strong, she gets way too many turns. My other problem is the fact that, for whatever reason, I can only use my item four times, for whatever reason. So, maybe I just have to be a little conservative with the amount of moves I use. I don't know. I mean, I am doing a little bit more damage, surprisingly, blowing up once. I also uh, added on a bit of different equipment so I can be a little bit more defensive and have, I think, a little bit more health as well. I'm really hoping that this works, because if this doesn't, I am so through with this. I am doing a lot of damage, though, so I am okay with that. Wish you luck. 
I'm just so angry that she gets way too much AP and she gets way too many turns. Here. I'll end this elegantly. Yeah. I don't even know if that even does more damage than my normal attacks. Luck. Which I honestly don't think it does. See look, why did she get another turn? Who should I choose? Like, it's just so crazy. I'm gonna keep attacking her from the back until I feel like it's doing something. Thankfully, I am Destroy doing some good damage. I think. I really hope I am, because Destroy otherwise, this will be you so frustrating. Like, see, look how much damage she does! Here. Like, honestly! Can I get, like, another, like, little, like, health potion where I can do... I can give myself even more health from recovering, like, please? I'll complete the mission. Please. Uh, and it doesn't change the fact that she still has a special. She has a special Who move on I her. Choose? I'll just use this item. Yes. Ouch. Got you. Uh. Destroy Not them all. Damage. Please. I'm praying to God. Come. Stop doing this much damage. That's it. Won't That's it. Who should I choose? Uh. A cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. She that kills me. Oh my god. She is so close to killing me. That is the last time I can use that, I'm pretty sure. Immediately, she is almost down. I just really hope she doesn't do any, some kind of crazy 360 just kills me right here. I am literally so close to destroying her. So close. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Come on, this is the final straw. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You know how close that was? If she, if she had one extra health, she actually would have won. Oh my gosh! Bro! The battle's over, Keisha. I've won this time. I should not have. How can I lose? Even when I love Noir this much? Love? What are you saying? You're more kind and stronger than anyone I know. Not to mention you're cute and stylish and graceful. Ever since I met you in that park in Planetune, I've been in love with you, Noir! Keisha... I want you to notice me! I want you to know me! Definitely 100% Yandere. But you don't even look at me! Th that's not true! I've been looking! That's a lie and you know it! You don't look at all! You're always too busy with uni! Even when you told me we'd be friends! Why have you betrayed me? Friends? Oh, this is so damn ridiculous! I can't put up with this! Noir! Why did I become friends with a girl like this? Why are you saying something so horrible? Because all you wanted was a friendship that was convenient for you, right? Friends. You're right, friends. Calling such a shallow relationship a friendship is almost laughable. Keisha. I seriously thought I could become a real friend to you. A real friend? Something more than just friends. I could have become a true close friend that laughs with you, cries with you, hell, even gets angry with you. If we were doing something wrong, we'd scold each other, fight, then make up. And I don't know if I'm just crazy, but that's why I'm still here right now. Won't you let me become your true friend? Noir! If you're having troubles, I'd help you get through them. We could get through it all together. If you're smiling, I want to be right there next to you, smiling with you. I... I... Keisha, you're... Just... Don't you ever for a second get to thinking you're replaceable. An irreplaceable friend? 
I'm really your true friend, Noir. I'm sorry, Keisha. I should have told you this sooner. B but you know, I'm embarrassed saying this kind of stuff. I couldn't bring myself to. Well, look what happened. It got me a whole grinding session, that's for sure. If I would have just told you this, we wouldn't have had so much trouble. Please, don't apologize. You're not at fault. I want to be a real friend to you as well. I want to always be with you too. Me too, Keisha. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble. Um, and I've been so horrible to Uni. Aggressive to Uni, in fact, like, uncomfortable. It's okay, Keisha. It wasn't enough to make me hold a grudge. I get it. Thank you, Uni. Now that we've resolved this safely, let's head back to the station. There's a billion things I want to ask you. Yes, I won't hide things from you anymore. Please, ask me anything. We're real friends now. Right. So we are. Uh, um, Noir? If, if it's all right, please give me your hand. Hand? Do you want me to hold it out? Uh, um, why are you shaking it? I, I wish to ask formally. Please, be my friend. My true, close friend. Of course. Let's be close friends, Keisha. Thank you so much! Oh, also, please, try to get along with Uni. Uh, do you hate Uni? Maybe because she takes me away from you? Uh, I'm sorry. These feelings of wanting to possess you solely haven't left yet. W well, you'll just have to get used to it. Uni is my sister and is very dear to me. I'd be happy if you both got along. I... I'll work hard at it. Is it something you have to work so hard on? Well, Uni likes you, so I feel like you two can get along all right. Uh, um, Noir? There's one thing I'd like to confirm. Confirm? What's up? I confessed to you about how I loved you, but... I haven't gotten a response yet. What? <laughs> Noir, do you like me? Uh, um, well, that's... I really, really love you. Um, uh, I like you too, Keisha. I mean, in a game really? where pretty much everything so and everyone much. is a girl except for the so robots, much. apparently, are you surprised? There is some, there is some type of friends. Yuri going on. Um, hey, are you listening? Noir, my love, let's hurry back. Right. I'm so glad you love me too. <laughs> Did I choose the wrong option somehow? I feel like I've switched a flag. Yep, you definitely did. Are we like almost done? Like, I cannot tell you how long we're taking literally just to get through this. This one of four different story arcs. Ooh, the golden tower is the source of the gold third's power. If you destroy its center, you can nullify Keisha's golden power. Do what you wish, I have no business with her. Hmm. If only we knew this. Hmm. Ugh. But who is the mysterious woman behind this? Is she the one doing the pew pew? We you know, got it out. Or was it really Keisha? Because she had a gun, number one. Ugh. But. I'm glad to confirm that every single one of the Shahs are the people that we were fighting earlier. So, yeah. Also, are we like almost done with this? <laughs> I just want to move on to a different story arc. The, no, the order that hijacked the Basilicom. That mercenary order, right? We met them when we snuck in last time. Well then, I'll get to the point. I used to be a member of that order. 
You did? Exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. I get it. That's why your personality changes so drastically during battle. Yeah, what? she's like, oh my gosh, I want you so much to target eliminated. <laughs> More accurately, it changes when I hold a weapon. I've been trained my whole life by the order to become an expert soldier. At first, I never held any doubts and only executed the missions given to me. But every time I saw normal girls during my mission, I started questioning myself and longed for normal lives like theirs. It was around that time that the Basilicom completely dis disseminated the order. I, I feel like I said that wrong. That's why I decided to use this opportunity to be reborn as a normal girl, and I enrolled myself in the city school. But one day I obtained this golden power and become one of the gold third. Which apparently is so strong that it turns you from a normal human being to someone stronger than a goddess in their HDD D form. HDD form. At first it was merely an impulse. I figured since we had obtained these powers, why not try fighting the CPUs? Oh! Was it literally that time they started like, alright, let's see what's up. And then during that battle, it's like, alright, we're, you know, we're going to challenge you because we can. Then they do it and they win? Wow! Just wow! 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 That is... That's overpowered. This series is overpowered. Like, you got all these goddesses that are so, like, universally strong, right? Consider they're goddesses. But then... You got these girls that got golden powers that overpowered them? Like, what are they? Golden... What is it? Like, golden... Like, is this something about anime? Where, you know, they get these golden powers. Like, Frieza, he got his golden form. And he was able to take down Goku in his Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form after six months of training. Like, can we... Something about golden power. Like, what's going on? Wait, when was that movie made? I just realized. Wait, 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 hold. Oh, this game was made 2015. The regular version, right? Release date of Dragon Ball Super Resurrection F. I'm gonna let this dialogue skip by because I think I already get the gist of what's going on. This movie, the Dragon Ball Super uh, movie Resurrection F was released in August 4th, 2015. Remember, this game, the original base of this game, was released in April of 2015. Okay, either this is secretly the anime behind all the craziness in Dragon Ball Super, or the writers behind some of this is also behind Dragon Ball Z. I will have to do some research on that, or if for you guys who are watching this, please do me a favor and actually research that stuff. I would love to know, because I also heard that supposedly, this was a comment that I've kind of like ran by, supposedly some of the writers that did, or some of the animators or writers, I can't remember, that did the animated series of uh, this game of Hybrid Dimension Neptunia were also some of the writers that did JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. I don't know if that's true, I doubt it. But if that's true, please, someone look it up, because I feel like, I feel like in some way, shape, or form, this stuff is actually way more connected than you think. Okay, so we're going back here. I don't know why, but we're going back here. I wasn't reading what we are supposed to do, but we have to do something. These footprints, I feel like they weren't here the last time I came through this area. Like, geez, how much of this we gotta do? Just getting a little bit gluttered skin. Oh, man. Oh. So are we just going back to the same area that we were at last time, or like... Oh, she was raised all alone. I didn't- I, I mean, then again, I skipped that part, so... Seems like she had a really rough childhood. I mean, not only being, you know... Well, seems like a mercenary when she was raised, but like... Raised alone. But like, whoa. What is that robot? So, CPUs, you've come to get in the way. We met you at the Basilicom! Looks like Keisha's intuition was spot on. I thought she'd lost her edge, but her instincts are as sharp as they were when she was in the Order. She should have waited patiently for death. 
Wow. You're planning on destroying this tower with that robot. We won't let you. Even if you take out Keisha, we'll stop you. How foolish. The position you all are in doesn't warrant this excess of confidence. This was created some time ago to destroy you. To destroy any and all CPUs. Consider it an anti-CPU mobile weapon. Everything is overpowered in this universe, it isn't it? Like super overpowered, like multi-universe level overpowered You're or something. Sure I don't know. If you think some machine could defeat us. Let's go, Uni! Great! You can sit back and watch as we turn that robot into a pile of scrap metal. Transformation complete. I won't let you kill my sister or Keisha. Wow! That is such a deep voice. Also, I'm not gonna lie. The hairstyle, let's all admit. So the hairstyle, it's like, that's definitely Ditto. Ditto? You know Ditto. Oh, great. Another one of those enemies that have parts on them where they have way too much defense. I just want to do coordinating attacks. That just seems to be really strong. I'll leave the back up to you. Leave it to me. Good answer, Uni. Boom, 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 boom. It's a final hit. Let's go. If I'm entrusted this, I have to answer to it. Alright. No matter who my opponent is, I'll mow them down. There we go. Let's go. That was even easier than the last fight. Like, way easier. That could just be the fact that we have Uni on our side. You weren't so bad. So. I even stronger. Things are going perfectly. Dang, girl. Okay. Okay. With the Tedo haircut. Haircut. <laughs> For a weapon that's supposed to be anti CPU, it was all bark and no bite. Now you're all that's left. Throw away your weapon and surrender quietly. <laughs> I've never appreciated your personality more than now, Blackheart. And press. <laughs> Noir, cover your mouth. Don't breathe in that mist. <laughs> Foolish. You cannot escape. It's useless for you to close your mouth. Your body will absorb it from the air. Wow. Um, at least Noir. <laughs> I'm... Losing strength. No, Tedo. No. Can I just call her Tedo? <laughs> oh, jeez. White Tedo. Oh, great. We lost Uni. Uni! What have you done to Uni? What is this gas? Didn't I say? This is an anti CPU weapon. Wow. That was. It was the gas, not We've the mech. We've been putting all of our efforts into this virus to crush you. It's a shame you were unable to neutralize it or the order. But don't worry, you'll meet your end soon enough. Our weapon won't move, but we've still manufactured plenty of the virus. <sighs> Watch from the afterlife as game industry sinks into the depths of delusions. Is it Keisha? <laughs> nice! Shot Shot her down! Silenced. That was just a tranquilizer, by the way. We can't have you dead just yet. Nice! Keisha, it's an emergency! You need. Please calm down, Noir, and tell me exactly what happened. One time Keisha actually does something amazing. Just boom! Okay, shut because the frick I heard up. a loud noise, but to think this is what happened. Noir, I. Don't speak! Please! I'm taking you to the hospital right away! It might be too late for me. Wait, is she dying? You idiot! Don't even talk like that! I'm not letting you die! She really is? Pointless. I know myself better than anyone. Uni, no! Please, Uni, don't give up now! I'll do something! We'll manage something! Keep your eyes open, stay with me, Uni! Noir... It's okay. It's not okay at all! Why are you giving up, you idiot? I'm... a CPU candidate. It's not like this was never expected. 
it's a part of our job. I'm at peace with it. Uni! But I'm... I'm scared. Why? I'm so scared. I don't want to die. Uni! Uni! This isn't right. I can't let it end like this. If what that woman was saying is true, Uni might still have a chance. I can save her. Save her, huh? You think you can save a life? The life of someone who was raised as a soldier and has blood on her hands? I was raised by the order to defeat the CPUs from the moment the virus was completed years ago. I've carried it within me. If we use my blood that's hosted the virus for so long, I can synthesize a serum. But are you okay with that, truly? If you do this, Uni will, unfortunately, be saved. Okay, whoever this voice is, shut the freak that's up. That's a horrible way to put it. This is someone's life we're talking about. If Uni disappeared now, what do you think could happen? You know, you'd have Noir all to yourself. No distractions. But that's not... And this was an accident. If Uni doesn't survive, that death is not on you. Oh my... I... Just pretend to treat her wounds. Even if Uni dies, Noir will see you as the brave, dear friend who was devoted to saving her sister. If this really works, I'm gonna get And really you pissed. will have been there to stand beside her as her sister passes. Whoever... She'll be certain to hold a special place for you in her heart. Is this like the voice inside her, or is but this like... even then, I have no desire to see Noir look so sad. I see. Then I am truly disappointed in you. Wow. If you do go through with this, I hope you will not regret saving her. Uni, please hold on for ten, no, five minutes! Isha... What... Are you... I'm going to create a serum using my blood! What are you talking about? Please explain! There's no time now, I'll explain later! Noir, do your best to keep Uni awake! Don't let her fall asleep, or we might lose her for good! Okay! I will save you, Uni! Just hold on! Wow! I've administered the serum. Her condition should subside once some time passes. <laughs> Uni. Uni is... Noir. Wow. How are you feeling? Does it hurt anywhere? My head's still fuzzy. But I think I'm okay. Wow, we saved oh, her, goodness. or at least she did. Keisha. I was so worried. I'm sorry, Noir. Nice. Keisha did something more than just be an antagonist. She actually Thank saved goodness. someone that I actually thought really? was gonna die. Okay, okay, stop crying already. And it hurts when you hug my neck like that. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I'm just so, so happy. I'm not gonna let go of you ever again. I'll always stay right here by your side. You're blowing things out of proportion. But I'm happy to hear you say that. I'm so glad Uni is safe. Yes. And in exchange, you're alone again. You again? Leave me alone! Noir isn't looking your way, despite the grand gesture you've shown to her sister. That's because Uni was saved, so of course she'd want to spend some time with Uni. Wow, the one time she uses common sense. Well, that lasts forever. Forever? Looking at Uni? She almost died. Noir will treasure her even more. Your hopes of becoming closer to Noir are dying as Uni remains living. Who is this then, voice, anyway? What will happen to me? Where will I belong? You never had a place where you belonged. Now and forever, you will remain alone. All because you decided to save Uni. Because Uni survived. Why did I save her? <laughs> I like you, Keisha. Although you're the ultimate soldier, your heart is comically weak. No, no! It was a good thing that I saved Uni, or else Noir would have been sad. Keisha? What's wrong? Here, Keisha. I'm right here, so calm down. Noir, help me! All of this animosity is overflowing. I can't hold back anymore. 
Noir wants to help Uni. Noir wants to be with Uni. Not you, Keisha. She's right you there! You to save me, Noir? What? What are you saying? Of course I... Why won't you say that you'll stay here by my side? You said it to Uni! Calm down! Listen to what I'm saying! No! Noir promised that she would always be my friend! She said she'd stay with me! I won't be thrown away by anyone! Noir would never throw me away! No, but... If she found something more important... She might throw me away! I would never throw you away! Don't even say that! You're a human, not an object! I'm a weapon! I was made to be used! I'm no different than an object! No, I don't want to be alone! I don't want to be alone! Don't leave me! I'll fight! I promise! I'll kill people! I'll do whatever you want me to! Please, just don't throw me away! What's going on? Maybe she's having some kind of psychotic break and dealing with her past issues head on. She must feel so confused. <laughs> That's right! If I kill Yuni, Noir will look at me! As the enemy who killed Yuni, she'll be watching and looking for me forever! Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever I'm actually ever wondering if this is how Yandere thinks. I wonder if this is what they have to go through every time. They have to go through this sick, twisted mindset. No matter how wrong it is, they don't know what's right. But then again, neither do all of us, so it's like... She's terrifying. To believe the answer's been there the whole time! Uni, are you able to move? Yeah, I feel okay, so... Good. Let's beat some sense into her. Nice. What? Is there seriously no alternative? Is it even a good idea to knock around that screwy brain of hers when she's like this? She asked me to save her, and that's what I'm going to do. If she can't talk to us, then we'll just have to calm her down until she can. That may be true, but what if push comes to shove and you have to hurt her? Will you be alright with that? If something ends up happening to her, I'll take care of her for the rest of my life. What? You're kidding. She's nuts, Noir. She needs Only therapy. Girl just saved you. Say what you want, but there's good in her still. So no, I'm not freaking kidding about this. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we're to do this again? <sighs> Great. Iris change. Wonderful. Wonderful. We have to do this again. Alright, no, frick it. We're going right into this. I'll show you my true power. Jiggle physics though. Super unneeded. We need to go right into oh my gosh, bro, that close up. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. We're about to be deal with this BS again. Now she has more! Look at just six health bars! Bruh! Kept you waiting, huh? Like, dude! Why? Don't worry, I'll snipe him. Gosh! Processor unit, set! Whoa! Oh, whoa there, girl. Okay. What's complete? Wow, there you go. Okay, go. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take a while. We gotta do this again. Yeah. Why can't we just have Nip here? Which he heals. That's one of her specialties. Or not. She did. She did. Finally. Jeez. Noir and Nip here can't know I barely won that. How embarrassing. Oh. Sorry, Tito. Two fights in a row is pretty rough. I'm exhausted. Huh? What was I? You 
finally calm down. Jeez, what a hassle. Noir, Uni, you're both so battered. It's all my fault, isn't it? What was that? What did you do? I just destroyed the source of my power, the gold crystal. Lots of share power was flowing through the crystal directly into me. But because I had this power, I just became a pawn. I was used. I thought she was gonna die. I was like, whoa, I didn't did you just such a secret existed in this tower? Noir, I'm so sorry. There's no way I could still be your friend after all this. You just need therapy. I won't get close to you. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll just make more trouble for you. I I'm really sorry, but I'm one of those type of people that won't understand people sometimes. Because, like, I understand that being raised as a weapon so is... please, forget about me, Noir. Really tough. It may take some time, but I'll forget as well. But the only thing I can think of is just get therapy, get some help. Like, have someone reach out to you. Get someone to reach out to you. Reach out to someone, you know? Because... I just never really understand these mindsets. I'm sorry. You, me? you cause trouble. You hurt me. Then you just want to forget me and pretend it never happened? Huh. You really are an idiot. This sort of thing is like a daily occurrence for us. D daily occurrence? Something like this? There's a dumbass out there who always brings trouble with her and has petty fights over games every other week. Neptune? And on top of that, even though she's at fault, she never apologizes. It's the worst. Neptune? Uh, um... Neptune. You've apologized. You're already surpassing her as far as I'm concerned. Neptune. Neptune. So, Keisha, don't keep saying stuff about not being friends anymore or wanting me to forget you. It's unnecessarily sad. I also forgot... Having your own personal experience with something like this is also a great way to help other people out. Like, at least you can share with them a similar experience that, that they have, that you have. So, true. I think that's the strongest type of therapy is that if they are going through something, if you have the same experience as them as well, and you know how to relate to them, then um, that's definitely jealous, the best way, in my opinion. It doesn't have to be any like worse I or any better. It. it just has to be it similar. So and if it's similar enough, end. then how could you, you can get on their side me, pretty easily. Let alone like me. It's true, your jealousy was worrisome, but I'm sure it'll get better once you have more friends around you. More therapy, it's no big too. Deal, really. What if I lose it again and hurt someone? You shot down the tower thing, so you can't have power anymore, right? We'll cross that bridge if we ever get there. And I'll just punch you again to knock some sense back into you. <laughs> I promised you, didn't I? If you were doing something wrong, I'd stop you, even if I had to beat you silly. But then... It's all right for me to continue being your friend? I might not look like it, but I'm actually pretty clingy. Don't think you can just stop being my friend so easily, okay? Well, we learn something new every day. Noir? Thank you! I... I... Jeez, why are you crying? Come on, there's no point in hanging around here. Let's go home. We like almost done, yes. but... Again, almost been doing this for two this hours. Happily ever after? Oh, the story arc is so long! It's not done! Go. Oh my god! My dude! My story's over for now. Oh my gosh, thank you! This is the you last really part! Want to come with us, Keisha? Yes, my feelings have calmed down. But I think it's best that I spend a little more time apart from you. Besides, as this nation's gold third, I have to stop the war that Last Station is attempting to start. Who knows what the remnants of the Order will do? Having lost a leader, I'm thinking of destroying them completely myself. I see. Understood. We'll be traveling around the nearby cities fighting monsters, so come join us whenever you feel like it. Yes, I would love to help Noir when the time is right. Please, wait until then. Um, Uni? When I meet up with you both again, will you become my friend? L well, it looks like we'd have a lot to talk about now, so I wouldn't mind it at all. Thank 
you. <laughs> You've made a good friend, Uni. Y yeah. We'll be heading out now. All right. Sounds good. See you later. Yes. Yes, you will. Sooner than you think. Noir, I will come see you. Please, stay safe out there. Was that okay, Noir? Wouldn't it have been better to pinky swear or shake hands or something? It's not necessary. We'll be seeing each other again soon after all. Right, Keisha? Oh my gosh! We're done! We're done! Oh my gosh! That took hours for just one of the routes! We still have three more to go! My dude! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, okay. I feel like it's possible I'm going to split this up into multiple parts one way or the other. Unless I'm going to condense this into this two hour long video, three hour long video, I don't even know. Dude, why was that so long? Oh my gosh. Okay, I was also hoping to do another VR session during that time, which I think I will next episode. Which I'll probably get to after I'm done recording this. So if you guys enjoy watching this video, after this, we're going to get to Blonde, and then we're going to get to Vert, and then we'll get to Neptune. Because like I said, we already did Neptune, I just want to see the other two. Because, you know, obviously we haven't even played as them, except for that one small part. So, uh, I want to see what, you know, they can do, especially Blonde. And she might be my favorite CPU, but we don't know yet. At least I don't know. I'm pretty sure she will, one way or the other. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed watching this video. If you want more of this, then, you know, I'll keep going because this is long. See so you guys, whatever we do next, take care. God bless you guys, and I'll see you guys later. What do we do next? Ah!